Hey guys, Richard here, E-Bike Reviews and Adventures, and today's adventure is we are in Seminole, Seminole City Park, City Park, Seminole, Seminole, Florida, and we're going to be hitting the trail today and just doing some exploring. We've just got a few of us with uh, today while we're uh, kind of exploring the trail to see if it's good for uh, bringing a larger group ride maybe at a later date, uh, but we're just out here having a good time, and we've got uh, Greg and his daughter Haley, we got Rick, and we have Stacy with us today, and we're just going to go out and have a good time, so hey. Uh, we'll introduce you to them and their bikes and what they're riding here in just a little while. Excuse me, but I brought my own water and my own sunscreen. <laughs> I saw that on one of your posts and I took it personally. Oh no, no, don't do that. <laughs> hey, I've always got sunscreen to share and you know, worst case scenario, I've got water too, so. <laughs> no, no man, here's mine from yours. You like it? My wife just got that size. Did she, she? She just got another one that size. She that had been. Be yeah. But it's my first run with it, so I'll let you know. And there's still ice cubes in it. Heck it's yeah. got to be better than... Well, okay. if it's the same, I, I think that's the same exact as this one would be, right? I mean, yes. it was like tri-wall. Yes. So if, as long as it's tri-wall, you should be good. Surely, right? Surely. So this bike doesn't allow you to customize your pedal assist levels? It does. No, it doesn't. No, you can't you can't customize the speed for each one. This one. This one. So no, that's what I'm saying, you can't. So pedal, whoa, sorry about that. Pedal assist two is too little, but then pedal assist three is too much. It wants to rocket me up there. So I can't find a nice even in between. See, like right now, this is pedal assist three. So look, see what it's doing? Uh-huh. And then two keeps me at about 11 miles an hour or so. And everybody else is doing about 12, and it's like I can't, see? <laughs> so it's a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. That's what the throttle's for though, right? Right. Didn't you tell me that last time? Yeah, exactly. So I regulate with the throttle just a little bit and try to find a nice in-between, but then I feel guilty because I'm throttling. Exactly. <laughs> I saw that you had put something up about the trouble with your mop wheel basalt. Yeah. The other one. Yeah, the basalt. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that one broke down on me. So this is the one Amanda normally rides. This is a smaller one. Oh, the, the basalt broke down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The pedal assist went out. I can throttle, but oh, pedal assist. Thank goodness so. Yep. But At least you had the throttle left. Right. I can still get home.
Oh yeah. Got to get some video footage of the turtle. Yeah. That'll be good to get some. over there too. This is pretty cool. Yeah, got to. No, oh, you're okay. Thank you. Those look fun. Are they fun? They're a lot of fun. Alright guys, we made it here to Clearwater Beach and we're just having a good time. We stopped here at this little uh, beachside little place, whatever this is right here, for some lunch. Uh, we spent the last hour and a half here just milling around, just uh, casually enjoying ourselves. But let's take a quick look at the bikes that we've got going on here today. Okay, again, we have my friend Rick here. Uh, he is the baggy bike. Uh, you've seen that before on this channel. And that is what he is riding today. And my friend Greg, he has the new version of the Basalt. <clears throat> mock wheel basalt same uh, make and model is not the same model as mine but the same make as mine he's got the newer version mock wheel uh, decided to make some changes about two or three months after they came out with the mock wheel basalt kind of disappointing because you know they came made all these changes uh, it now has a torque sensor which mine has a cadence sensor he's got these really cool handle grips here that say mock wheel on it um, he's got the thumb thumb throttle here instead of the half twist which I have which I do prefer a twist throttle but uh, he's got this decked out really nice. He's got this extension bar up here to add some extra goodies up there. It's just a real nice, real nice ride. And then of course today I'm riding the Mach Wheel Scoria and you have seen that before. 
Again, my Mako Basalt is down for maintenance. It's down for the count. So I'm riding the smaller Scoria, which is one of my favorite bikes. And uh, yeah, so I've got my bag on here. I got my handlebar bag up here. And I still got the basket on the front, which I rarely use. But uh, yeah, enjoying that ride. Stacy is with us. She is riding the electric bike company. She calls this her rainbow bike. I don't have a lot of specs or a lot of information on her bike, but uh, she's already agreed to allow me to do a review on it. So I'm gonna study up on this one. We're gonna be doing a review on this in just a couple of weeks. But this is an amazing bike. I mean, look at this. And we're talking about wood fenders here. You know, this is some high-end, uh, this is some high-end stuff right here. And look at this over here on this side. Even that chain guard. The chain guard is wooden as well. Just a, a beautiful bike. And look at the paint job. That's real nice. She's got a real nice ride there. And then Greg, his daughter Haley is with us today and she's riding the Rad Power Bike. And that's it for this ride. So there's uh, five of us. We're enjoying our, uh, uh, a good time here and uh, we're about ready to head back and call it a day. All right, guys hope you enjoyed the video we ran up going 24.3 miles the team made it back safely and we're all loaded up here or getting loaded up but it was a nice ride we uh, we saw some wildlife and just got out on the open trail it was the Pinellas trail by the way and I uh, really enjoyed it and uh, you yeah, know that's gonna be it that's gonna be a wrap for this video so give me a like give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it of course comment down below and ask whatever questions you have and I'll get back to you if you do here make sure you subscribe I'll see you in the next video ride safe